Welcome second time to my channel. This is your host Julian Angelov and today I'm gonna review one of my favorite fragrances, a huge masterpiece, eternal elegance and sophistication. Here it is, a birouche of the Maison Guerlain. Alright, so if you have watched my first video, you gonna know that it was a negative one. I was very disappointed about these fragrances. And I'm gonna tell you again, don't buy Baccarat Rouge 540. Instead, you can buy this one. It's a B Rouge Guerlain. All right. Cool. So, bitches. No scores. I'm gonna smell here a little bit. I'm gonna put on my wrist. I already put it today. Uh, this is some uh, of my favorite fragrances, so I know how it smells. But let me know you. Let me tell you how it smells. All right, so, have you been in Paris? No, yes? All right, I'm gonna tell you. So, imagine you are in beautiful Paris and you are entering in this beautiful um, buildings, old building of the aristocracy, Rive Gauche, of course. And as soon as you enter these old buildings, no elevator, only wooden stairs, there is one very specific smell coming from the stairs. And it's the smell of a wood polish or wood wax. This is exactly very similar smell of richness, nobility, abundance, elegance, sophistication. Um, sensuality, contradiction, uh, and uh, passion and audacity. Exactly how it smells. You cannot forget this smell, believe me. It's not something um, that you can forget easily, you know. And people who smell it, they either like it from the beginning or either they're gonna hate it, hate it from the beginning. So, if you hate this parfum, definitely you have a cheap taste and you are not from my gang. I'm sorry to tell you this, but the smell is very important for, for me. I, I hope also for you. And any bad smells, it's an instant turn off. So if you don't know what to wear, don't wear nothing like a fragrance, just a soap, smell fresh and clean. And this is enough, I'm not gonna judge you about your profession, I'm gonna judge you how you smell because it's very important to me, all right? But if you like smells like Aqua Di Gio or Kelvin Klein, bitch, you're not for my gang. So let me tell you why. Tell me what you like to tell you who you are. Of course, this smell, it's a must say, uh, state of mind, basically. So this is open-mindedness, nobility, Le voluptuous, sensuality, audacity, daring, contradictory, complex personality, personalities like this fragrance. So, if you like it, you are definitely from my gang, because I really am exactly uh, as this parfum, um, you know, uh, smells like. This is my personality, okay? Cute. <laughs> So let's continue with some statistics and later I'm gonna tell you more about this parfum. First of all, let me tell you that uh, this parfum was created in the 1965 and since that time there must be a reason why it's still on the market. 55 years and more people are buying this fragrance. Not only this, this fragrance, I would say that this is the uh, male version of Chanel. You know, this is Chanel for men. Although it was created for men, I would definitely tell you that it's more unisex. Also, women love this parfum, so feel free to wear it. It's also unisex, mostly for men, but unisex. You can wear it without any prejudice. So, this one, I bought it in Spain 
and it was a very good deal. I'm a cheap bitch, you know, in terms of money, in terms of taste, I'm expensive bitch. So I bought this parfum for 50 euros and this is a very, very good deal. This is the best value on the market you can find for a fragrance. This is 100 milliliters or for my American friends, English friends, this is 3.3 ounces. All right, so the, uh, what I bought, this is the Eau de Toilette. This is the lightest version, but you can buy also Eau de Parfum, uh, which is a little bit more stronger. And in terms of longevity, it lasts longer. This one, I made a statistics. Uh, it lasts on the skin up to four, three, four hours. On the clothes, it lasts much longer. It can last for five to six days. Yes, believe me, it is, All right? Let me tell you more about this parfum. What it means, the name. A bit rouge from French. It means the red coat. And the history of this parfum was from the 1965, where the creator dedicated the parfum to the who? Red coat. Who? You're not gonna guess. This is the people who are doing equestrian sports, riding horses because on that time they were wearing red jacket in the beginning before i know this i thought red coat something red must be the uh, priest from the vatican of course no this is the dedicated to the equestrian sport and the equestrian sports it's a symbol of the nobility because of that time even these days who is doing equestrian sport? People who has possibilities, financial possibilities, or people from the nobility, aristocracy. All right. All right. Let's continue with some um, other statistics about the notes. In terms of richness, this is one of the richest parfum. Uh, combining 21 notes, even more, this is the 20 known, known, one, known notes that I know, maybe more, and this is one of the most rich parfum, richest parfums on the market right now. This is actually the first parfum fragrance that was created for the men, and this was the first, um, uh, how do you tell this? Let me cut it, I'm gonna search it. This is the first ever oriental fragrance for men ever created. This is the beginning of the tendency of the oriental scent that suits also not only women, but men. This parfum contains 20 even more notes, at least I know 20 about this, I think 21. And this is one of the richest in terms of notes, fragrances on the market right now. Let me tell you which notes uh, are the most specific here. So, top notes. Listen. Lemon, Brazilian rosewood, orange, bergamot, lime, tangerine and basil. Although many people that write reviews about parfum we will label this parfum as a citrus one i think this is a complete mistake because uh it's slightly citrus myself i don't like citrus smells i like narrowly but not the rest i like this parfum because this is the first the top notes impression slightly citrus it doesn't like uh, stays alone you have more impression immediately after that's gonna make you love this parfum middle notes rose carnation yes carnation this is one of my favorite fragrances not a lot of people love carnations uh, in terms of smell how it smells I love carnations and I do believe because I am uh, a visionary, I do believe carnations gonna be very trendy, 
trendy right now in the future, in the nearest future, a lot of big um, companies gonna start produce again, make parfums with carnation because we forget how it smells like and it's amazing smell, especially when you combine it with other fragrances. We continue with the notes. So I told you, middle notes, rose, carnation, sandalwood, cinnamon, patchouli, jasmine and cedar. Oh my God, this is a huge cocktail. We have seven middle notes. We have seven top notes, seven middle notes, and we have seven base notes, okay? Base notes, vanilla, leather, amber, benzoin, oak moss and lebdanum. I don't know how they smell the, the last two ones, but I'm going to tell you how it smells when you spray it. First impression immediately when you spray a little bit, it's going to be probably, it smells like the old school or old fashioned, but no, 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 no. Wait a minute, wait a 10 minutes and smell it again because this parfum it's so rich and also these contradictions are completing each other in the so much genius way that you're gonna be blown away from the scent that's gonna come after 10 minutes because this parfum what one very specific thing it doesn't fade away fade away but it, we have a real evolution of the smell and yes, in the beginning, you must say, mm, it smells like the grandmother from the library, not at all. It's gonna be different in five to 10 minutes and don't have any prejudices about the old school smell. Even though people like uh, the generation of my father and my mother, they love this parfum. This parfum also young people love it right away because first of all it's for the it's a great value for the money second of all it's elegant sophisticated and sexy and people with real taste they appreciate this so who can uh, wear this parfum everybody from 16 years old to 95 years old Japanese woman on the field selling fish, for example. <laughs> yes, let me tell you the story. Uh, I worked in the uh, call center and uh, it was the summer in Barcelona, Spain. And one day I go to the work and there is a colleague of mine, a black guy, tall, very well dressed, even though we work in the call center, you know, he was always elegant and he was smelling amazingly. I recognize this smell, I said, my God, this guy must become my friend because, you know, we recognize each other for the smell, exactly like the animals. And we become very good friends because we have a, a shared interest about the fragrances. And yes, this parfum can switch your grandmother, but can switch also your nephew who is 22 years old or yourself who is in the 30s or in the early 40s or early 50s, 60s, 70s, doesn't matter the age, it's just a state of mind, it suits everyone. People don't have prejudice about the old school smell. It's a big revival right now, a huge tendency on the market. And even though it's uh, very intense like a smell, I would say that it's also office friendly, especially if you are the boss of the company or if you are uh, the first contact of the company, if I imagine like a, a luxurious boutique hotel and you're the hostess on the door, and you open the door and people are gonna enter, they're gonna smell this um, luxurious smell of richness and abundance, they're gonna be your uh, clients forever. Also, this parfum is suitable for politicians, writers, presidents, stars, hotel owners, and uh, who else? Everybody else, which is not in the list, like I told you before. Uh, this is the state of mind. If you are open-minded, if you are audacious, if you have passion, if 
you have nobility, noble, noble intentions, you're gonna love this parfum. Something more important also about this parfum is that people say that this parfum is more suitable for the winter on when it's cold. I wear this parfum also during the summer. There are some parfums that mixed with your own sweat becomes even more, you know, fragrant. They, uh, the, the sweating are uh, accentuating the notes on the fragrance. This one is not particularly uh, made for sweat uh, because it's already strong. Imagine if your own sweat it's gonna be a little bit too much for the others. But I also dare to wear it uh, during the summertime without many clothes. I just spray a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here just a little bit not too much and i go out on the night to go dance you know if it's not exaggerated it smells also good during the summer all right what else and let me read some amazing reviews that i found on the internet about the fragrance so this one is one of my favorites. This has moved from a like to a love. It's just so versatile. Yes, bitch, versatile. I feel sure that this will smell completely different on every person. And this is complete true. I do agree with this. It smells different on every person. This is my floral fragrance in my wardrobe. This is a woman who wrote this um, review. Fresh citrus and rose on a soft bed of vanilla leather. It's warm and comforting in the winter, bright in warmer weather, always discreet and appropriate. Like a best friend who is adored by all your difficult family members. This is for every person at every stage of their lives. Just let it rest before you try it for the first time and give it time to work with your chemistry. This is a personal bond far more intimate than just putting on a fragrance. You must learn to understand each other. I hope you enjoy the journey. Yes, and this was all from today. Let's meet again very soon with other fragrances. I'm gonna buy more niche fragrances because I hate cheap commercial smells and we're gonna talk more about yours and my favorite fragrance in the next videos. If you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel because we must support each other. We are from the same community of fragrance lovers. So do it, subscribe, give it a like and hope to see you well, to see you bitch very soon again on my channel. Bye bye. <laughs>